in today's episode. A Bentley pipe and how to save it from the ghosts of its past. Hello pipe community, Bear Pipe here, and welcome to episode 2. Today's episode, we're going to start work on this little guy. Got it on eBay a couple of weeks ago, and I snapped off the tenon within a few seconds because it was skew, and of course, what do you do when something is skew? You try and straighten it, and then you break it. But that's not what today's episode is going to be about. Uh, today's episode is going to be about how we deal with what's in here. But before we do that, let's talk about what this is. It says Craig Buchanan, Bentley, London, England. And that's my biggest clue that makes me think that this was a K. Woody second. It was a store pipe that went to Craig Buchanan's shop, got sold somewhere, and uh, had a fairly good life by the smell of it. The cherry is strong in this one. There's been a lot of Captain Black that went through this guy. Cake is really thick on the inside. Smell is really strong. And there are, to be honest, a few things as disgusting as smelling somebody else's old pipe. So, we're going to get this cleaned up. It's really grimy on the outside. It's difficult to see the quality of the wood. It's a very light briar, so I think it's probably a fairly good quality briar in here. Um, but to do this, we're going to have to take it right down to wood inside here. And the reason is, I need to see if there's any cracks in this bowl. I need to see if there's any damage inside. That needs to be repaired. I need to figure out what's the condition of the briar. Normally you would not do that. You don't ream a pipe to its bare wood because then you have to break it in all over again. So uh, don't do that. But in this case, because it's in a state, because it's in a fairly bad condition, we're going to have to do that so I can see what's going on here. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Uh, probably with a time lapse because it can be very boring if you have to watch me ream out a pipe. get rid of that ghost. So uh, what are we going to do is we're going to put some kosher salt, reason it's kosher, doesn't have iodine in it, into the bowl. And we're going to fill it right up like that. So I'm going to get it a little more upright. And now what we're going to do is we are going to fill it up with alcohol. Until it's absolutely saturated. And because of the fact that I'm going to refinish this pipe, I'm not too concerned about damaging the finish. If you do this with a pipe that you don't want to refinish, don't let this uh, alcohol get onto the outside surface. Now, there we go. Now you'll see that in the back here, I'm just going to put some alcohol into that as well. I've got a pipe cleaner in the back. It's going to do the same thing as the salt. It's going to help to suck out some of the ghost that's in there. And now we're going to let this pipe sit like this for 24 hours. It's been 24 hours since this has been soaking in salt. And you can see how the... Um, 
of the salt starting to turn all yellow there. More importantly in the shank, look at this pipe cleaner. Well, that is nasty. And uh, what I usually do with this is I, uh, it's gone hard now, of course, because uh, it's dried. I dig it out with a little stirring stick and uh, this is not bad. It's not, it's not too bad. Um, it's still a little damp. The bowl is now clean on the inside. It's been reamed out. It's down to bare wood. The condition of the bowl is good. There's no burns or cracks or anything in it. The shank is cleaned up. It's gone down to bare wood as well. Uh, I've cleaned up the outside to get rid of all the old grime that was on there. And, you know, the old stain has been taken off as much as it can. Uh, it's essentially down to bare wood. The problem is, there's just the faintest whiff of cherry that's still left in here. And I, I just can't, I can't go forward until I get rid of that. Now I've done two salt treatments on this and it's still there. There's one more option that I know of, but I've never done it. Uh, Gregory Pease wrote an article uh, a few years ago where he described a method where he puts the pipe in the oven. He heats the oven up to about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. That's, that's give or take 80 degrees Celsius. It's not enough to burn the wood, but it is enough to open up the pores. He puts it in there for three hours. Then he puts activated charcoal that he gets from an aquarium store into the bowl, puts it in there for another three hours. Then he takes it out, let it sit for a couple of days to settle down. And he reports that he's had very good success with this. So we're going to give it a try. We're going to see what it does. So that was three hours. Let's have a look. I think I can touch that. It's quite hot. It's definitely warm all the way through. So now it's time for the charcoal. So I bought some activated charcoal at an aquarium store. Come in these little bags. So let's uh, see if we can fill this baby up. There we go. Now A little tricky. It's got to go in like that. I I should try and get some into the shank as well. It's probably not going to work. There we go. That's good. Okay, so now it's going to go back in for another three hours. It didn't blow itself up, didn't break, so I think we have a plan. We have success. There she is. No smells. Not a whiff, just pure briar. It works. Now what I should point out is that uh, after the second three hours, I took the charcoal out, I put it back in the oven and let the bowl cool down with the oven. I wasn't sure about taking the hot bowl out and letting it cool down quickly. I was worried that it might crack. So I, I just played it safe. So all that's left to say about removing this ghost is thank you. Thank you for the response to the first video, which was overwhelming, way more than I expected. It's really encouraged me to keep going with this. And uh, if you like what you see, please share it. Please like it, please comment, until next time.